Merry Christmas Eve, I want you to come in here. We're making our seafood dishes for tonight. We have some beautiful manila clams that we got yesterday. I'm purging them here with a little water uh, covered by about maybe an inch or so and two tablespoons of salt. I'm gonna do the same thing here later. We have some really nice shrimp that we picked up yesterday. We're gonna make a linguine shrimp and clam dish. And here we have, check this out, this beautiful octopus. I mean, look at this guy. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. We're gonna make a nice red wine braised octopus. This came cleaned already, so um, the sack is already clean. You don't have to worry about it. The beak is already out. The only thing is the eyes are still on. So I'm gonna show you guys how you kinda of just simply cut under and again, two spots. And you cut these eyes like right out. This way you don't have to do it afterwards. Just like so. And we cut one more time from this end. And you have the eyes out. We're gonna take this bad boy, we're gonna braise it. So grab it nice. Look at this. <laughs> we're gonna go into our pot. It's been heating a little bit. And you can see here, if you go in, we're gonna curl up the end. There's only a little bit of olive oil in here. I'm talking like two tablespoons. And we go up and down a few times just to get that nice curly part to the bottom of the legs of the octopus, as you can see. And you do it a few times, and then we're gonna let this braise in here just like this, nothing else. See how it's all starting to like open up? We're gonna remove the moisture from this octopus nice and slow. It's gonna stew in its own juices. And then once all the moisture is pretty much out, then we're gonna add the red wine and braise this beautifully. So give me like about an hour or so. When you come back, you'll see how we finish this. Hey guys, check this out. This is starting to look like a delicious octopus. It's, re it's releasing all its water, like we said before. All that is naturally coming out of the octopus. There was nothing else added. That's also very flavorful. You can actually save that and uh, use it for a pasta, use it for the beginning of a brodo, a soup, or whatever. But uh, we're gonna let that reduce. And once it reduces, the octopus will be tenderized, and then we're gonna go into the wine uh, process and braise it with red wine and all the aromats to make this really delicious. But I just want you to see that there's a tremendous amount of liquid that naturally comes out of the octopus that we're trying to remove, and this is a good indication that we're doing the right thing here. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. I cut it in pieces, and now we're gonna finish it off with the red wine and uh, make it more festive and more flavorful. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some honey. This is about two tablespoons of honey going in. Right there, you can see how beautiful, right? We're gonna stir that through, coat the uh, octopus with the honey, real nice. And then, as you can see, it's glistening, right? Now we're gonna add a little bit of red wine to the glaze. This is what we're gonna braise it in, just about maybe halfway up the octopus. And now we're gonna add our aromatics, the flavor for this. We have one orange juice squeezed, fresh oregano, and some orange zest. You can use lemon if you prefer. I like orange in this, it's a little bit more uh, festive. And then we're gonna simmer this now until this all gets to a nice thick consistency, coats this really beautifully, and then we're gonna serve. Here's our clams oreganado that we made before. They just literally came out of the oven. But what I really wanna show you is this braised octopus. Look how beautiful that came out, okay? It all got nice and glazed with the honey and the red wine, the citrus. Now we're gonna to go to our dish, but before we do, I wanna just add a little fresh oregano and some olives. You don't have to, but it's nice too. I'm gonna also add a little bit of orange zest, just like that. We're gonna stir it in, and now we're gonna to go to our plate. Here's our dish. You can see how beautiful, look at that, guys. It smells absolutely delicious. The red wine and the citrus are absolutely delicious. This we can take out now. Really nice. It's a really nice dish. It's a different twist for a uh, Christmas Eve than a lot of the uh, traditional ways of making octopus. You can see how beautiful that is. We have a little more of the orange zest right here. And now I'm gonna just plate, finish the plate by cleaning our edges like usual. Really nice. And we're gonna add a little bit more of the orange zest. 
a little bit of the fresh oregano leaves and then we can garnish this with a nice sprig on top and here you have your braised red wine and citrus octopus for Christmas Eve.